Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cyrus Fiend Team channel. I'm Cyrus and today we are in Sunset Hill in the northwest part of Seattle at our latest listing. This listing is a 2021 townhome, three bedrooms, two and a quarter bath in just over 1300 square feet. Now you may have noticed my Cafe Vita coffee I have in my hand. Well, it's from Cafe Fiore, which is just about 25 yards from the front door of this property. Not only are you steps away from Cafe Fiore, but you also have Sunny Hill Restaurant, which is a really cute local spot. And not to forget, we are about 50 yards from Golden Gardens Park. And if you remember from some of our previous videos, it's one of the coolest parks in Northwest Seattle, just north of downtown Ballard. Now let's get out of the rain and check out this awesome townhouse. So right off the entryway, we find ourselves in the main living area. Beyond that, we have the kitchen and the large island as well. Now, as you might know, watching some of our other videos, the floor plans for townhouses can really vary. And with this one, we have the main living area on the first floor. Now that does have some advantages. For example, if you're coming home with a bag of groceries or multiple bags of groceries from Costco, you can come right in the front door and immediately sit, find yourself at your kitchen and pantry. On the other hand, if your main living space and kitchen was on the second or third floor, you're gonna have to take those groceries up a few flights of stairs. Being that this home was built in 2021, I do wanna mention, I think that's kind of the best of all worlds, right? You have a nearly brand new home, but it's lived through a couple of seasons. You have the winters, you have the summers, fall and spring, and you're inheriting a home that's kind of gone through its break-in period. Sometimes with new construction, you know, not every home is built perfectly. And if you buy brand new, there's always a risk that maybe there was something that was missed or wasn't built exactly correctly. And you might end up, you know, finding a leak or whatnot. Here, you know that this home is rock solid because it's lived through a handful of seasons and you're inheriting a good property. One thing I really wanna point out about this townhouse is that it's quite wide. At 1,300 square feet, you have a wider townhouse, very much like how things are priced in New York. Townhouses kind of fit that same bill here in Seattle where the wider they are, generally the more expensive they are. So there are a few things about this kitchen that I wanna point out. First and foremost, it has a gas range. And as you might know from watching our previous videos as well, gas is starting to be phased out from Seattle. Any new construction properties are not allowed to have gas anymore. So this townhouse being built in 2021 was in that kind of final push and last accepted kind of set of permits, if you will, that allowed for gas to be in a townhouse. Being in the modern design, we have coarse countertops and a really minimalist kitchen, really easy to take care of and keep clean. Now you probably noticed that door over my left shoulder, that is a pantry. And if you ever toured modern townhouses, you'd know that on the main floor, typically you're either gonna get a pantry or they're gonna swap it out for a bathroom. Here, we have a pantry directly off the kitchen, which just adds so much space and that additional kind of storage that you often are not gonna get and are gonna be seeking if you don't have a pantry. Now this property has both a pantry and a half bath on the main floor, and that is such a nice functional piece to have. You're not gonna have to have your guests walk up the stairs to use the restroom. You're not gonna have to run up the stairs to use the restroom when you're watching a movie down here and whatnot. So it's really nice to have the all important half bath on the main floor. Storage can often be a concern with townhouses. This property is an absolute exception to that. Not only do you have a coat closet and storage behind me, but you also have storage even further under the stairs. Now, as we come up the stairs, we immediately have the second full bath right here behind me, and then the second bedroom right here on my right. Now, one thing that I really love about this design is the fact that it's kind of a junior suite almost. This bathroom has a door right behind me, but it also has a door connecting directly to the bedroom. So whoever's in this room down here kind of feels like they have a primary suite as well. 
just down the hall, we have the third bedroom. And the third bedroom is really the most critical bedroom, in my opinion, in kind of housing bedroom counts, if you will, right? One bedroom makes sense, two bedroom makes sense, three bedroom makes the most sense for so many different individuals and buyers, largely because, you know, you have your own room, you have an office, and then you have a place for guests or for kids. So this third bedroom really adds an immense amount of functionality when compared to a traditional, you know, two bedroom townhouse, for example. Because of that, three bedroom townhouses almost always are a better investment than a standard two bedroom townhouse. As discussed earlier, the top floor is dedicated to the primary suite. And with two full bedrooms fitting on the floor plan on the middle floor, you can only imagine how large this primary suite is. You have a walk-in closet, you have a full-size bathroom, and of course, you have a king-size bed here, and the room still has a lot of space to spare. Being an end unit, this top floor gets so much natural light. Even on a cloudy day like today here in Seattle, this upper floor is just flooded with natural light. Now with all this natural light on sunny bluebird summer days here in Seattle, of course this top floor is gonna get quite warm. Fortunately with this townhouse, you have AC here on the top floor and the bottom floor. And as a result, the middle floor gets kind of sandwiched and stays very cool throughout the summertime as well. You may have been wondering where the laundry was in this home, and it's right outside the door of the primary suite. So it's really nice to have your full-size laundry units right outside the main bedroom. Of course, this wouldn't be a modern townhouse without a rooftop. So let's get upstairs and check it out. While this rooftop is probably less appealing on a rainy day like today, the summer times up here are absolutely amazing. You can see broad view and the Puget Sound through some trees behind me, and it's really awesome to know you're really that close to the water here. As always, click on the link in the description below if you want a private tour of this townhouse and would like to see it in person. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and we really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.